Hey guys, and welcome to another Daily Tip episode. It is March 3rd, 2009, and we're back inside of Reaper here, and I'm actually going to do a little request that I got um, from a guy on, uh, in a comment on one of my other videos. Um, he asked actually how to change um, these grids um, so they're smaller or larger because he was actually using a drum machine live or something like that, and um, he wanted to be able to place um, the drums on on time onto the grid um, and he might be using 30 second notes you know 16th notes quarter notes and he want to be able to change it via time signature um, so this is how you do that um, I've got a track here this is just um, a, a standard uh, audio track and I've got a um, blank MIDI event in here just to uh, show you some different features in the grid settings so it's just a blank track basically um, I've got it. I've got this Pro Tools 8 theme um, on here. You can you can uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the sidebar if you haven't actually found um, the different themes. But all of the themes, uh, all they do is overlay an image. So the uh, this will be in the same place if you're using stock Reaper. I'm um, go up here and in this theme it actually says grid, and you can right click on this and this will pop up your grid options and you can do all kinds of stuff in here. But the main thing that we're looking for in this tutorial is the first thing where it shows one beat. And you can drop down on this menu and you can see that you have all these different settings. You have half notes, whole notes, triplets, quarter notes, eighth notes, ninth notes if you want to do um, twice as fast triplets, sixteenth notes, thirty second notes, and forty eighth notes. And when you change this to, I'll say, change it to quarter notes, you can see the grid changes in time with your metronome. So this this grid will actually snap to quarter time um, if you're using drums or something like that. Um, and, and then if we go back in here and actually uh, change this to sixteenth notes, it will actually get smaller. And it actually goes so small you can't even, or I turn the grid off. Whoops. But you can see they even get smaller when you change it to different things. See, there's 48th notes. It gets really small. And we'll change it back to whole notes, which is where it was. Stock. Um, another thing you can do um, with the grid is if you don't want the grid showing underneath your tracks, you can actually go to grid line Z order here. Come down here and actually hit under items. And you can see now the actual items is over your grid, so you don't see the grid transparent through your tracks um, and then there's a bunch of other stuff in here that I won't go into into this tutorial those are two things that I actually found um, extremely helpful um, especially this uh, over um, the grid thing because I don't like to see the grid through um, my tracks necessarily um, so that's uh, basic, some basic uh, grid features inside of uh, Reaper it is a loop based software so everything um, that you change will change in time so everything will line up correctly um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by, and we'll see you in another daily tip.